All right, guys, how's it going, Motor City Miner? Coming at you from the farm. It's been a while since we've been at the farm, but I'm excited to be back. Uh, like, I, I haven't really alluded much to it, but you know, definitely have been in caretaker mode at the household for a little while due to some unfortunate circumstances health wise. Uh, but we are getting back to it. We're gonna spend some time at the farm finally after a couple months. Like, I mean, I've been here a few times in the last couple months, but you know, it's really like real brief, usually just to address a problem. But we got lots of work to do because the Bitcoin having happened, as we all know, I turned off a lot of my miners and that's pretty much where I left it. Um, lots of GPU miners still going. But we need to reorganize the farm for this cycle. So let's talk about what we're gonna be doing. So I'm going into Red Squadron here. And this looks different, yes it does. You can see uh, all my ASICs are in this room now. Well, almost all of them. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but I've been moving all the ASICs in here, uh, reconfiguring the shell so that there's wider space. I still got a little more to do and these GPUs got them. But Red Squadron is essentially going to be my ASIC only mining room going forward. So that's exciting. Uh, you can see I have a couple running already. Obviously, those are my cash flow miners because they're the most profitable. Even to this day, uh, I mean, this KS3, I'm still making like 30 bucks a day. Big complaint. Uh, some of these other miners may or may not turn on, depending on, you know, heat. It is summertime now. Uh, still working on the air exchanges in here. I'm hoping this uh, change will help, though. And then some of them are just not really profitable, like my older Bitcoin miners right now, until Bitcoin really has its nice price appreciation, hopefully in the near future. Uh, but this is going to be the ASIC room. We got to remove stuff. All the Intel rigs out of here still. Not that they're done. See, they're still empty. I don't get anything done, it feels like, even though I'm working all the time. We got uh, some proof of useful work rigs here. Five stars. Those got to get out of here, too. Um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, been uh been a long time coming um let me know down below what your thoughts on this mic i'm trying a new mic got some recommendations it's still so loud here i mean it's 90 decibels pretty much all time all the time in here there's just so many fans everywhere so many fans um but yeah comment down below your thoughts uh, I don't know, I've done some test videos with it, I'm not, it makes my voice clear, uh, but too much background noise, uh, and, you know, comment down below. So we're going to head into Gold Squadron, you can see I haven't gotten all the mini boxes out of here, we're trying to get these all out of here, uh, but this, uh, you can see the new rack, um, you know, putting ox miners on each, you're probably like, why the hell don't you? put them vertically. Well, honestly, I got more rack space than I have miners at the moment. And I prefer them horizontally. Uh, puts less, um, a lot less stress on the PCIe slot. And, you know, if I have the room, I might as well. Uh, but this is gonna be, I haven't quite figured out. Right now, these are all X12s. Well, there's an X8, never mind. Uh, still work in progress. But maybe all the X12s in one room? I got 12 of them now. Uh, and maybe all the X8s and the proof of useful work, five card rigs in the other room. I don't know. We're still winging it. Figuring it out. Not sure. And uh, oh, I still got, I still got to do my 100k giveaway. Not 100k. God, I wish I was at 100k. Uh, 1k subscribers giveaway. So there's some uh, 5600 XT waiting for that giveaway. I got to clean them up though, for you guys. I'm not going to send it to you today. Trust me. Like, come on. I can do better. Uh, what else? Uh, what are we trying to do today? We're gonna move lots of stuff around. Got a lot more rigs to move. Uh, as you can see, lots of boxes, lots of rigs. We're not gonna get through it all today. I already did. Uh, these X12s gotta go to the other room. Gotta reconfigure these shelves. Uh, I think that's a rig that's getting sold. This is a B85 rig, so. Uh, just a lot going on. Honestly, I don't know. There's a lot. Uh, but we do have these X12s, the mini X12s here. 
Um, and we're gonna get some of these up and running today. I got my A2000s, which are actually in this other room, in the Blue Squadron. I gotta get them out of there. Um, and I think Blue Squadron's gonna come offline for a while. We're not gonna go in there. I haven't even unlocked this door today. Uh, but I think it's gonna come offline for a while. There's uh, 8X8 Ultra Plus Octaminers in there. Those are all gonna go in the green room. Uh, and this is become, gonna become like a network stack room. Um, probably a lot of those Adrock PC250 rigs in there too, on those server racks. Uh, but well, that, uh, again, I, I don't even think I'm getting that far today. Uh, my goal is just to hopefully rearrange the shelves so they're all like this. So this room, it has them spaced properly. Uh, so I need to get the green room to look like this. And then once the green room looks like this, I need to finish the red room, red squadron, uh, and get all the ASICs out of here so I can actually start working on these rigs, putting new cards and swapping new cards. I got a whole lot more TPUs. Uh, got to retire some old ones. But, uh, lots to do. So we'll get to it. Um, but yeah, probably the first thing I think I'm going to do is the green room, I guess. Why not? You never know. I mean, honestly, I feel so far behind at the moment that I don't know where to start. But yeah, I think we'll start in here, start spacing these properly at least, and then that'll allow us to move some rigs around and hopefully open up some shelf space. So yeah, I am curious how I'm gonna put this phone down for a second. I'm curious if the Mini X12, how they compare lengthwise to an X8. So, let me put the phone down for a second, and I'll put it on top of the rack there, just so we can see how it compares. All right, so we brought the Mini X12 uh, and put it on top of the X8. You can see they're pretty much the same. Actually, the X8's a little wider if you have the X8s that have these flanges where it sticks out like this. Um, but the actual like box portion is about the exact same. Uh, but obviously, things are not in the same place or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, what's interesting is the mini X12s for PC server parts are about the size of an X8 Ultra Plus. Just in case you're new. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get going though because there is a ton of work to do here uh, and don't even know where to start. So let's get going. All right. All right, so uh, making good progress. You can see I got most of the X12 in here, the mini X12, uh, big X12s, uh, kind of medium X12. It's kind of my oddball one. Uh, it is a normal X12, but it's an older model, and they did change it a little bit. So these are like, I said, the custom ones, the minis that are for PC server parts. Uh, but this is the five, um, you know, five band one, but you can see even the cutouts look different. Uh, it's just a older model. Uh, I got two more I gotta get in here from the other room still. Uh, but we are making good progress though. Um, We've done some more in the red squad room. So as you can see here, uh, we've got all our shelves re up. We've got all the big ASICs, more big ASICs. <laughs> all these mini miners. Uh, no plans to use these. These are just going to be cool. I usually often get the intel rigs out of here uh, so I can take this last shell. And that last shell is actually going to go over in green, the green squadron room, uh, which is going to be our X8s and a couple other weird things. Uh, but you can see I'm kind of in here. Uh, so so we got, uh, these are those two X12s I got to take. All, most of the X8s are in the blue room right now, so that's why there's nothing in here. Uh, but yeah, so got to get that one last shell, move over some Intel rigs, uh, just so they're out of the way. And then we'll uh, go from there. So let me move those info rigs then we'll, I do want to get at least three of these rigs up and running that are down today. Uh, a lot of these have cards in them, but I do have to move cards around and optimize. You know, I like to keep the same cards and the same rig type thing. Uh, and I just have so many new cards that I'm kind of reshuffling a lot of the TPUs. Uh, but you can see 
some of these are obvious, like people think that these are obvious, they're just gonna be gross. Um, but I do want to make some major changes in here. So now that I got these uh, mini X12s, I have 24 A2000s, uh, which are super tiny, don't really need any power. Uh, so those are gonna go in two of these rigs. And then this uh, older one I was talking about, regular X12, um, has lower style CMP50 HXs in it. Um, and blower styles work great in smaller rigs. So I'm gonna move those out of there into one of these so that I can put big cards in this X12. Because again, it is the same size as these, it's just an older model, older motherboard, um, whatnot. So, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Like I said, I'll move that last shell from blue, uh, red into blue, to green. I can't even keep track of what I'm doing anymore. And then we'll, uh, when I get working on these, we'll uh, get back into the video. All right, guys. Uh, so we're, uh, you can see that I'm pretty much, I uh, got all my X12s in here, the mini, the medium, and the large. Uh, most of them are back up and running. Obviously, the new ones aren't running. There's nothing in them. So I worked on that at the moment. I had mentioned I was going to move the CMP 50 HX that I have, the lower style, not from the regular one, well, medium one, to the small one. But uh, I know the spacing's tight on these new ones I got. There's only two slot spacing. Uh, these uh, CMPs that I have, even though they're lower, they're pretty bulky uh, with the shroud. Them. The actual band's a lot smaller, so it's like inset into them a lot. You can see that there. Um, but I think just because these are so bulky, I did contemplate taking off the shrouds. Um, and it actually would have worked perfectly fine. I did take one off. But I actually have. Okay, so I have what, five of these mini ones? Like I said, I have 24 A2000s, so but I don't think I'm and then I have uh, three more that are 12 cards each. And I actually have 36 passive CMP 100 210s. Um, so I think that'll be a good use for them to actually put them in here. Now that I can see that, you know, I could get these to work if I took the shrouds off, but that's just a lot of work to over to the be honest. I'm just gonna leave them in there. Um, and then I'll get other CMPs I have to put in these. Uh, that won't be today because I don't even have them at the farm there at my house still. Um, but I'm going to move on to the A2000s at least, get those rock in here, and uh, it's going to be good to go. So, uh, yeah, changing plans part way through. But that's the good part about having so much crap is that uh, whenever you decide to change your mind, there's always another place for things to go. So, uh, I'm going to put these three back in there put this guy back up, get it back up and running, and then we'll work on the A2000s in the top of the rig. So, uh, that's where we go. All right, guys, all right. So, uh, we're all lined up here with all my A2000s. There's, I love the A2000s. They're just so cute. Look how small they are. Uh, no power, you know, from a PCIe, just from the motherboard. Uh, I love these cards. Honestly, if I could have a whole farm of just A2000s, that would be awesome. They're just one of the most efficient cards on almost every altar. They're not the most efficient, but they're one of the most efficient. And that's just because they're limited to 70 watts. They fit in pretty much anything at all. Uh, but yeah, we've got these two ready pretty much. Uh, Swap out 750 watt PSUs, because I don't need those for 18,000s, obviously. Uh, you don't need 2,250 watts for 12, 70 watt GPU. So Swap in some 460. Yeah, what PSUs that work with optical combiners I have. It's a good use for them since uh, most of my other rigs are using PSUs and I got to compare. Um, but yeah, we're going to box it up with the back up on the shelf there and then we'll have 9 of 12 X balls running. We'll just have these three here that need to be turned on and get parts in them still. Those will be those other CMP rigs, I think. Um, but yeah, pretty excited to have most of these X balls up and running. Uh, I guess all the X8s are running.
so we're over in the computer now and uh, it's been a little you know i've been running these for a couple days it's been really really hot here so you can see a lot of my gpus are on fire on the core side um uh i also have a interesting issue which will be in a different video but one of my um exhaust ducts actually burst one of the flexible portions um i don't know it's been fine for a year so i don't know if it was the extra heat or what um but uh <laughs> it's definitely hindering my ability to get heat out of the farm so things are a little hotter than normal i have turned off a bunch of machines until i rectify that later this week uh but yeah i want to talk about these a2000 rigs you can see there's a whole bunch of errors and so i have already alluded to this in some of the comments on my last video um but yeah essentially these machines come with pretty much no ram they're like four gigabyte sticks you can see this says 1.2 gigabytes free um but if i go to this other one that the load average is through the roof right now you will see that it has 11 megabytes of free ram remaining and so what has been happening is these have been consistently rebooting every, I don't know, like a couple hours or so, you know, three to five hours, it seems. It has nothing to do with the crashes of the cards. The cards are all fine. Everything's running nice and cool. Even in the hot temps we got currently, you know, none of the memories are over, um, you know, 90 degrees. Core temps are a little high, but, you know, again, nothing too crazy. Oh, and go figure, right, while we were here. So when the load average gets high enough, it will automatically reboot. That's just one of my uh, hash rate watchdog things. You know, I I just don't, it's just, you know, they're just programmed to do that um, because they do eventually just stall out and stop, you know, accepting shares and everything. So this one actually just rebooted, as you just saw. Um, so definitely an issue with these rigs to be aware of is the ram so like when you first start them up this one restarted rather recently you know 16 minutes ago and it has 1.2 gigabytes of free ram this will consistently get lower and lower and lower until there's essentially zero gigabytes of free ram like we just saw in the one that just rebooted um it had what 12 megabytes of ram left which is just you know unworkable it's just killing my load averages um and causing issues and causing those restarts every so often. Um, so I do have new RAM coming on the way um, that I'm going to swap into these and see if that rectifies the low load average issue. Um, obviously, another thing that affects load average beyond your RAM is your CPU. These aren't great CPUs that these um, cheap Octominers from PC server parts come with, but honestly, they should be fine for mining um yeah you're not going to do proof of useful work mining with them or anything but or any cpu mining with them but i mean i've run with way worse pentium and celeron processors on a card rigs um so i don't really think this is the root cause obviously a better cpu would help but i think right now the four gigabytes of ram is the bottleneck on these um these are 12 card rigs so running 12 graphics cards with four gigabytes of system ram is just kind of unadvisable so uh i do have that coming that'll be in a future video um and we'll talk about if it does indeed uh make this better and gets rid of all these load uh average reboots but essentially anytime it goes above a certain amount of minutes uh the system does reboot but i have been mining zealous hash and dual mining with eth hash specifically zilica um and these are running otherwise great um like i said nothing too hot nothing too cold i mean you can never have too cold okay you can but it's almost impossible where i live um you know hash rates are pretty good super efficient for the wattage on zealous hash and these are just chugging along so really just need to get this load average down just not happy with these load averages um even the CPU attempts are pretty cool. Like nothing, nothing sticking out, you know, like too crazy here. Other than the load average and the amount of available RAM. So um, just something to note, if you do end up buying these cases that you will probably want to do some upgrades to the parts. Uh, and again, I'll have a future video seeing if just upgrading the RAM is enough. I 
am upgrading to a 16 gigabyte stick. Uh, there are two slots, so I could actually do dual channel. Um, but I, I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible, get these operating. So I got some ECC. You will want ECC low voltage RAM, um, 1.35 for these motherboards. And again, this will all be in a little more detail in a future video. Um, but I'm moving from the four gigabyte sticks up to a 16 gigabyte stick. Um, and we'll see if that works. But yeah, otherwise, been rocking it. These are doing great. I love the A2000s. Again, such low wattage and so efficient on most algorithms. They are one of my favorites by far. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, uh, and these aren't, I haven't fully reorganized all these to where they are now. So, um, you know, not all these green squadron rigs are actually in the green squadron room and vice versa. So I do have to do some updates there as we go. Um, surprised this is still offline. Might just be taking some time. 90 seconds ago, yeah, it's it's just a uh, it's just yeah. Again, these are slow as dirt once they have 12 cards in them um, with the amount of RAM they have. So that's all I got really today on these X12 mini rigs. Um, and starting up on Zealous Hash, um, you know, comment down below your thoughts, um, or if you've bought one of these, you know, what you've done to improve the load average. Again, I'm going to try the RAM route first because it's cheaper than trying the CPU route. Um, and honestly, it's probably both are a problem, but I think the RAM will be the bigger, uh, influencer in improving it. Rather not get new CPUs if I don't have to. Um. So yeah, comment down below on your thoughts and what you've tried. And then, yeah, like, subscribe. I'll have an update once I have that RAM come in and also update when I have fixed the exhaust situation at the farm. Because right now, certain rooms are very much on fire, as you can see. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for today. Until next time.